Hey guys, it's Anna. So it's so gloomy today in Hawaii and I couldn't decide what to do. So I figured it's the perfect time to make a skincare video for you and show you what I use on my face. I'm going to show you what I put on in the morning and at night and explain each product to you and why I use it. I hope this is helpful and please let me know if you guys like it. So in the morning, I like to wash my face with the Andalus Cleansing Foam Roses and it's for sensitive skin, but it's really nice because it's a foam pump. So you just use one pump and it lasts a really long time, but it's really gentle. So I like it when I wake up in the morning because you don't really need anything too aggressive in the morning unless you're working on treating something because you know, you've just been sleeping. Hopefully you washed your face the night before, which you should because sleeping, you're really pressing stuff into your skin. So it's really important to get your face clean before going to bed. So in the morning, I don't like to use anything aggressive, just the light foam. And I also love this product for when I do have makeup on. If I have a full face of makeup on, I'll wash my face first with this because it's really gentle and it just gently lifts the product off of your face. So the makeup and the dirt and the sweat, it's not gonna go into your skin. You're gonna lightly lift it off before you wanna do like a scrub or something else. I also try to avoid using makeup wipes until after I've washed my face because if you're using the makeup wipe, you're gonna press the makeup into your skin, which will make you break out. So it's better to use something gentle, like the foam wash to lift the makeup off of your face. Then after I wash my face, I always use toner. So my favorite toner is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. It's really gentle. It is for sensitive skin, but it's perfect because it's just a toner. You don't need anything super aggressive. You can mist it on your face anytime if you're feeling dry or if you got a little bit too much sun, if your face is irritated by anything. Then after my toner, I use this Image Skincare Vitamin C Serum. It's really good for brightening your face. Whenever I get a blemish, I mark on my skin. So vitamin C is really good for removing the discoloration that comes from old blemishes or sun damage. So I do spend a lot of time in the sun and my skin marks really easily. So I always use vitamin C every day. And then I use the Andalou vitamin C moisturizer in the morning after my serum. And this is my last step. It's a really nice light moisturizer. It's really thin. It smells amazing. So I like a thinner moisturizer in the morning because I don't like anything thick, especially since I'm normally in warm places. If I put on a thick moisturizer, it just sits too heavy on my face. It makes me feel oily. But the Andalou brand has a matching moisturizer in the roses and it's for nighttime and it's really thick. So if you are in a drier climate, then um, I like to use that one. Like when I'm home in Michigan, I use the Andalou Roses moisturizer because it's thicker and helps my skin from drying out. So that's my four step process in the morning. It starts with the Andalou Foaming Face Wash, the Rose Water Toner, Vitamin C Serum, and then Vitamin C Moisturizer. So in the evenings, I like to wash my face with this oil-free acne wash. It's a pink grapefruit foaming scrub, so it sounds like it's gonna be an aggressive product because it says it's an acne wash, which would deter me a little bit if my skin was sensitive. But for me, it works really well. I think it's actually really gentle. It's a really soft scrub. There's just tiny little beads in there and it does foam up. So it's really nice and soft on your skin. Even if you do have breakouts, it doesn't hurt your face, which is really important. You don't wanna rub your face really hard with a rough scrub because that's just gonna create tiny little cuts on the surface that you might not even see, but it's really damaging to your skin. My favorite way to use the scrub is with my Clarisonic. So I have this one. It's not the newest version, but it's perfectly fine for me. You can get the new one. They have tons of different versions. And then they also have different brushes. So I just switched to this brush. I used to have the pink one, which was for sensitive skin, which worked great for me. And then I just needed to get a new one. So I decided to try out the blue one, which is a little bit um, more exfoliating. And I've been really liking it. You don't really need pressure on your skin for anything. Any washing product, you don't want to be pressing on your face. You don't want to be scrubbing. You don't want to make your skin red. You want to be gentle to your skin and lift stuff out and not push it in. So I used to get inconsistent breakouts quite a bit and I couldn't really figure it out. And you know, I would wear sunscreen and makeup and I just, I would wash my face, but I wasn't 
really sure why because I would just randomly break out or get a lot of congestion and then when I started using this it was the biggest change in my skin for me so if you're going to invest in something I would say that this would be my number one suggestion because it completely changed my skin for me it took away fine lines it took away my congestion in my skin I would get it in my chin and my nose um, it's amazing. It makes your skin brighter. It makes your skin tone more even. It's not that expensive. I think they're pretty affordable. You can get them on Amazon. You can find them in Sephora, Ulta. Um, I know I know there's other places you can get them too, but they're pretty easy to get your hands on. You can get whatever version you want. Some of the older models are a little cheaper. Don't let it deter you though that if you're worried you'll break out because it does happen a bit because when you start using it, your skin is probably going to be congested. And to get your skin clear, you're going to have to pull that out before it is fully clear. So when I first started using it for the first week or so, I think I did break out more or so. But it's just because it's pulling everything out of your face. So it's worth it. Just trust the process. And then after I wash my face, I use my toner again. I always use this anytime I wash my face. It balances your pH levels so your skin is more protective. As soon as you get out of the shower, as soon as you wash your face, you want to balance your pH with your toner immediately. After that, I use this Image Skincare Ageless Serum at night. So it's a little bit more of a treatment serum, which I really love. It has a little bit of glycolic acid in it, so it smooths your skin out, it gets rid of any fine wrinkles, and um, I actually find that it helps treat breakouts for me too. If I am starting to get a breakout, I'll make sure I put my serum on in that spot because of the glycolic acid in it it just kills the bacteria a little bit which is perfect <laughs> then after i use my serum for the night my favorite product is the aim high everyday soothing face oil i only recently started using this maybe six months ago and i absolutely love it i've always liked using face oils at night because my skin is more prone to being dry and I do wash my face quite a bit wearing makeup and sunscreen. So it's really important that if you're washing your face that often, you have to put the oils back into your skin because your skin's going to overproduce the oils if you don't, and that can lead to breakouts. My favorite time to do this is at night because I don't want to, you know, put a face oil on and then walk around for the day or be all greasy or when it's hot out during the day, it's not what you'd want to have on. But it's perfect at night because you can just put on your face oil, you know, and you're sitting around home. No one's gonna see you looking all oily. And then you go to sleep and it soaks in for however long you sleep, which if you put it on at any other time of the day, it wouldn't last that long. You would end up washing it off or it would get affected by something else. So you want to put your treatment products on at night because you're gonna get the full benefit of them. So this face oil is my favorite face oil that I've ever tried. It's so soothing but it doesn't feel greasy at all because some oils can, they make you feel really gross and like it's sliding off of your face, but this absorbs really well and it plumps your face up. It's really soothing. If I get at all sunburned, I put it on. If I have breakouts, I put it on. Um, it's really wonderful product. It would work on any skin type because it's so gentle and it's natural and it has completely organic ingredients. So it's really good for your skin. And so that's what I use at night, guys. I have a four-step morning program and a four-step evening program. So at night, I do the foaming face wash with the Clarisonic. Then I go back to the toner. And then I have my Ageless Serum. And then I have my Soothing Face Oil. That's what I use morning and night. I'm going to put a list for you guys so you can check out the products. And that way you can find them. And please let me know if you have any questions. And I will try to answer them the best I can. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.